to welcome everyone to the Donald W. Reynolds Continuing Education Center. We are pleased that you were all able to join us this evening for a truly special and unique occasion. Tonight we will showcase some of the most outstanding youth from across our great state. They are new teen stars and Hall of Fame nominees. The individuals being introduced tonight are being recognized for their years of hard work and dedication to the 4-H program. The theme for tonight's program is 4-H is our compass because of their excellence in leadership, community service, and project work. The individuals you will meet tonight are truly 4-H stars. These members combine to form a unique group of individuals who have taken the challenge to work hard, serve others, and learn by doing. They are not only met their challenges, but they have excelled in completing the task set before them to make their communities better. At this time, Arkansas Forage Ambassadors Mackenzie Hood and Sage Lee Burnett will please come to the stage for the Pledge of Allegiance and the 4-H Pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I pledge my head to clear thinking, my heart to greater loyalty, my hands to larger service, and my health to better living for my club, my community, my country, and my world. Now it is my privilege to introduce Mallory Perkins, State 4-H Vice President, Delta District, who will introduce the special guest we have here this evening. Tonight we have many distinguished guests with us who contribute to and support Arkansas 4-H in a variety of ways. These individuals will be introduced in groups, and we ask that you hold your applause until all have been named. The first group that we will recognize are members of the State Extension faculty and staff. Please stand when your name is called and remain standing until we've recognized the entire group. Dr. Rick Cartwright, Interim Associate Vice President for Ag Extension. Dr. Vic Ford, Interim Associate Director, Ag and Natural Resource. Dr. Martha Ray Sorter, Interim Associate Director for Family and Consumer Sciences and 4 H Youth Development. Beth Phelps, Washita District Director. Barbara Bastis, Civil Right Compliance Officer. Angie Frill, Interim Associate Department Head 4 H. Sharon Reynolds, Ozark District Director. Now, would the State 4-H Youth Development faculty present here tonight please stand? <laughs> the next group of individuals that we'd like to recognize with us tonight are members of the Arkansas 4-H Foundation Board. Judy Riley and her guests, Tom Riley, Ewell Welch, Nita Cooper, Mark Harrison and his guest, Melissa Allen, Ralph Shoptaw and his guest, Deb Crow, Anna Marie Belden with guest, Katie Nizwager, Glenn Manchester, and Dr. Darlene Millard. For a full list of Arkansas 4-H Foundation Board's members, refer, refer to your program that you received tonight. We also can't forget the hardworking County Extension staff present tonight. Would those here please stand? <laughs> now I'd like to introduce Mary Alice to come back up here and explain what's happening next. <laughs> Thank you. 
At this time, I would like to ask the teen stars from group one and group two to please follow state officer Ethan Parker behind the stage to prepare for the remainder of the program. On behalf of the State 4-H officers and ambassadors, I want to thank each and every one of you for joining us this evening as we honor very remarkable Arkansas 4-Hers. These ind individuals have put many years of hard work and dedication to the 4-H program and have shared their unique abilities and talents with others. Tonight we pay tribute to these individuals for their leadership abilities, commitment to 4-H, and dedication to their individual project work. The first exceptional 4-Hers that we will recognize are the 2017 Arkansas 4-H Teen Stars. To be named a Teen Star is indeed a great honor. To qualify a 4-H member must be at least 14 years of age and must have completed at least one year of 4-H. These 4-Hers have excelled in areas of project work, leadership, community involvement, and various other aspects of 4-H. These dedicated young people have received recognition and numerous 4-H awards on the county, district, state, and even some on the national levels. To sum all of this up, these individuals are truly Arkansas 4-H stars. Our first host tonight will be our Arkansas 4-H ambassadors, Saley, Sagely Burnett and Kelby Biswell, who will introduce our first group of teen stars. Tonight's awards will be presented by Dr. Martha Ray Sorter, Interim Associate Director for 4-H and Family and Community, com, excuse me, Consumer Science. William Phillips, Arkansas County. William says, 4-H is where I go to be with my friends and it has greatly enriched my life. William Phillips, Arkansas County. <laughs> Chase Blum, Baxter County. To Chase, 4-H means making new friends and learning new things about himself. Chase Blum, Baxter County. Joseph May, Baxter County. Joseph feels that 4-H represents honor, pride, and respect in our city, county, state, and most of all, our nation. Joseph May, Baxter County. <laughs> Allison Watson, Benton County. Allison says, to me, 4-H is everything. It has allowed me to understand responsibility, leadership, and what it means to give back to my community. Allison Watson, Benton County. Faith Fritch, Benton County. To Faith, 4-H has become a part of who she is and made her a leader and more aware of her community. It has made it second nature to stand up and volunteer, serve, and teach. She is very thankful for 4-H and what it has provided for her. Faith Fritch, Benton County. <laughs> Isaac Wallace, Benton County. For Isaac, 4-H is more than an extracurricular activity. It is a family and a way of life. Isaac Wallace, Benton County. <laughs> Julie Griffin, Benton County. When asked to define 4-H, Julie says, 4-H is, is an organization that has challenged me to live outside my comfort zone. The impact of 4-H has on my life is a testament of how it can take a shy little girl and grow her into a leader and a person that could speak in public. 4-H provides a safe place for youth to try new projects until they find projects that really excite them and challenge them to take that step outside of their comfort zone. Julie Griffin, Benton County. Macy Davis, Benton County. For Macy, 4-H has given her more confidence and taught her responsibility. It has shown her the importance of giving and being a leader in service to her community. It has opened new possibilities to her future by teaching her and providing her with amazing opportunities. She is grateful for her 4-H experience. Macy Davis, Benton County. <laughs> Madison Mitchell, Benton County. Madison feels through her membership and participation, 4-H has opened doors to a world she wouldn't have known existed. 
This program provides opportunities to grow and develop as, as an in individual while participating in a strong unified team. The skills learned today are creating the leaders of tomorrow. Madison Mitchell, Benton County. Marco Sanchez, Benton County. Marco says, 4-H is, is, simply put, what has molded me into the hard worker and leader in my everyday life, who strives only to make the best better. I used to take my life on with uncertainty, but now I can handle it with the confidence to change my future for the better. Marco Sanchez, Benton County. <laughs> Melissa Hope, Benton County. Melissa has learned to speak in front of her club without being afraid. When she first joined 4 she was shy and she wouldn't even leave it a pledge. Now she's one of the first to jump in front to lead a pledge, song, or give a report. She thinks 4 will help her in the future because it is made of kids of all ages and all walks of life. It helps her see possibilities in the world and experience projects she might have missed if she wasn't in 4-H. Melissa Hope, Benton County. <laughs> Morgan per, per year, Benton County. Morgan says, I love 4-H because I have met friends for life who have influenced me to be a better person. I now set goals, work to achieve them, and am open-minded enough to learn and experience new things. Morgan per year, Benton County. Rebecca Everett, Boone County. Rebecca says, the saying, when one door closes, another opens, but 4-H is a room of open doors. All that's left to do is to pick one. Rebecca Everett, Boone County. <laughs> Georgia Patterson, Carroll County. For Georgia, 4-H is a great opportunity to meet new people and learn and do new things. She has learned new skills and love for community service. She is looking to the future by taking part in the Veterinarian Assistant Program. Her life has truly been enriched by her leaders and the experiences with the 4-H program. Georgia Patterson, Carroll County. Caitlin Warner, Carroll County. Caitlin says, 4-H has helped me to become more confident in public speaking and a better leader. The camps have been a great benefit for me to learn more leadership skills. Through 4-H, I have had excellent experience learning new things and making new friends. Without 4-H, so many of the achievements I have made would not have been possible. Caitlin Warner, Carroll County. <laughs> Nick Meyer, Cleburne County. For Nick, 4-H is an opportunity to engage with my friends in building something, serving someone, or learning something bigger than us. It's a part, it is being a part of a local community and letting us sh our own light shine through the state. It is hard work, great fun, and lifelong learning. Nick Meyer, Cleburne County. <laughs> Luke Wilson, Cleburne County. Luke feels because of 4-H, he has grown in knowledge of animals, grassland evaluation, and in many more avenues that have changed his life for the better. It has provided him with skills for life. It has taught him to be a leader as well as a community server. Being active with something that produces productivity is something that 4-H had educated him in. He is beholden in his experience as a 4-H'er as it will forever more be a part of his life. Luke Wilson, Cleburne County. Stephanie Wilson, Cleburne County. 4-H has taught Stephanie to be a leader, but at the same time, a team player. It has provided her with skills that she will use for life. 4-H has also taught her how one group of people can change a whole community. That is why she says she is indebted to 4-H. Stephanie Wilson, Cleburne County. <laughs> Benjamin Scroggins, Conway County. Benjamin says, 4-H is a place where I can implement and further develop my talents and abilities. I enjoy the diversity of things that I can learn and do through 4-H. Benjamin Scroggins, Conway County. <laughs> Timothy Scroggins, Conway County. To Timothy, 4-H means meeting new people and making friends in areas he enjoys participating in. No matter what your interests are, you will find a place in 4-H. Timothy Scroggins, Conway County. Victoria Lehman, Conway County. Victoria says, 4-H means making myself a better person all around by helping others as I go. It is also about achieving lifelong goals while surrounded by understanding and supportive friends. 
Victoria Lehman, Conway County. Weston Crow, Conway County. For Weston, 4-H is a way to learn a variety of information and life skills. If you think you're interested in 4-H, 4-H probably has a project. It is a great way to make a network of, with people across the county, district, and state. These friendships and lessons will stay with you long after you graduate. Weston Crow, Conway County. <laughs> Laurie Vinsill, Desha County. To Virginia, 4-H means teamwork, responsibility, and making friends. Virginia Vince, Vinsill, Desha County. <laughs> Alex Wilson, Faulkner County. Alex says, thanks to 4-H, I have learned useful life skills, tried new things, gotten more comfortable talking to strangers, and making friends. 4-H has given me the opportunity to help others while learning about technology, healthy living, and the natural world all while helping me, and helping me be a better at communicating my thoughts with friends and with strangers. Alex Wilson, Faulkner County. Introducing our next group of teen stars are Arkansas 4-H ambassadors, Mackenzie Hood and Joshua Kay. Brent Clark, Faulkner County. The meaning of 4-H for Brent is about lessons learned through 4-H experiences, the community service projects, the leadership learning roles, the friendship gained, and the fun that doing all of these things bring. 4-H helps me, helps me into the adult I will become. Brent Clark, Faulkner County. <laughs> Sierra Puckett, Faulkner County. 4-H has helped Sierra come out of her shell and meet new people. She loves all the competitions, opportunities, and friendships that 4-H offers. Sierra Puckett, Faulkner County. <laughs> Jonathan Bates, Garland County. To Jonathan, 4-H is making friends and creating memories while working in our communities. It is pushing each other to new distances, empowering everyone. It is being there when others need Hell, most of all, it is making the best better. Jonathan Bates, Garland County. Anthony Kelly, Green County. Anthony says to me, 4-H is more than an organization. 4-H is like a home to me. It's a place where I can be myself. It has helped me overcome so many obstacles like being able to stand up and talk in front of large groups of people. 4-H has helped me on the development of who I, who I am today and who I want to be in the future. It has given me countless opportunities to meet new people and learn new things. I am grateful for the knowledge I have gained through 4-H. Anthony Kelly, Green County. Grace Thompson, Green County. When asked what 4-H means to her, Grace feels 4-H offers everyone a home where they can learn about and participate in almost any area of interest. Through leadership and community service, we have fun, make friends, make a difference, and improve ourselves all at the same time. Grace Thompson, Green County. Jessica Griffin, Green County. When asked what 4-H means to Jessica, she said, 4-H is something I hold very near to my heart and have the greatest passion for. 4-H means so much to me and has taken me to so many places and allowed me to meet so many amazing people. The memories and the friendship I have made is something I can thank 4-H for giving me. I will never forget those things and I will always cherish them. Jessica Green, Jessica Griffin, Green County. <laughs> Eva Berryhill, Hot Springs County. Eva feels that 4-H is preparing her for things she will need to know and accomplish her goals. 4-H is rewarding experience. Eva Berryhill, Hot Springs County. Jeffrey Hurden, Hot Springs County. To Jeffrey, 4-H means making new friends and being a leader for the youth in his community. Jeffrey Hurden, Hot Springs County. <laughs> Sean Fryer, Hot Spring County. For Sean, 4-H is a good, fun learning environment for youth of all ages. It's where you can learn everything from animal science to healthy living. 
Sean Fryer, Hot Spring County. Cody Jaminson, Howard County. Co Cody says 4-H is everything to me. It has influenced everything I do and given me the chance to do things I never thought I would get to do. Cody Jaminson, Howard County. <laughs> Caitlin Hip, Howard County. Caitlin feels that 4-H is having fun while learning important life skills. Caitlin Hip, Howard County. <laughs> Katie Lynn Haney, Howard County. To Katie Lynn, 4-H means growing as a person and giving it back. It means exactly what the 4-H stand for by growing and giving back using your head, heart, hands, and health. Katie Lynn Haney, Katie Lynn Haney Howard County. <laughs> Natasha Hightower, Independence County. Natasha feels that 4-H prepares her for the near and far future by getting her involved with local and national issues. 4-H has taught her to overcome things she didn't think she could and lets her do the same for others. It has made her who she is. Natasha Hightower, Independence County. <laughs> Stephen Stout, Independence County. For Stephen, 4-H is a way to help the community and to get out of your comfort zone. Stephen Stout, Independence County. Jacob Cole, Izzard County. Jacob says 4-H means so much to me and has been life-changing. 4-H has taught me the importance of being a good citizen and team member. Jacob Cole, Izzard County. <laughs> Kayla Edwards, Jefferson County. 4-H means so much to Kayla because it has taught and shown her new, different, and fun things. 4-H is a big part of life for her. She has learned a lot and has so many great experiences that she would not have had if it were not for her involvement in 4-H. Kayla Edwards, Jeff. Jefferson County. <laughs> Caleb Swears, Lone Oak County. For Caleb, 4-H has made him the leader he is today. He tries to exert in his home and community to do his part in raising awareness of American agriculture. It has also shown him what he wants to do with his life one day. It has shown him that he can make the best better and he can do anything he sets his mind to. Caleb Swears, Lone Oak County. Clayton Stark, Lone Oak County. Clayton says, to me, 4-H means opportunity. Throughout the last two years, I have had many opportunities to try something new, like livestock judging and showing at county and state fair. I've had the opportunity to improve my public speaking skills and the opportunity to increase my knowledge in animal science. I've had many opportunities to make new friends and enjoy helping out in my community. These are just a few examples of the opportunities that 4-H has given me and why it's the first word that comes to mind when I think about 4-H. Clayton Stark, Lone Oak County. Cody Ogden, Madison County. 4-H has, has had a great impact in Cody's life and that he is learning so many different things. Now he is learning to step out of his comfort zone and become more of a leader. Cody Ogden, Madison County. Shelby White, Madison County. In just two years, 4-H has made a leader out of Shelby. She loves 4-H, it is very important to her and what she wants to learn in life. Shelby White, Madison County. <laughs> Abigail Anderson, Mississippi County. Abigail says, 4-H has made an amazing outlet for all of my hobbies and interests. She, may has, she has made tons of friends while learning a lot through participation in various projects and activities. Most importantly, 4-H has helped her find direction for her college education and a future career in business. Abigail a Anderson, Mississippi County. <laughs> Elizabeth Anderson, Mississippi County. Elizabeth says, for 4-H is like the TARDIS on Doctor Who. Once you get involved, she discovers 4-H is bigger on the inside. 4-H provided her with endless opportunities in a variety of areas, along with wonderful and lasting friendships. Elizabeth Anderson, Mississippi County. <laughs> Davis Smith, Mississippi County. Davis says 4-H is a youth development program that offers a number of ways for young people to advance and refine professional leadership and communication skills that will help them in their future. Davis Smith, Mississippi County. Yeah. 
Macy Smith, Mississippi County. Macy says, 4-H is a wonderful youth program that has helped her to become more outgoing. It has also helped her become a more efficient leader, and I am grateful to have 4-H in my life. Macy Smith, Mississippi County. Kaylee Crocker, Perry County. Kaylee says she has learned so much over the past seven years from showing her animals and participating in shooting sports to wildlife ID. 4-H is also where she has met most of her good friends. It is a fun thing she enjoys doing. It has given her leadership skills and made her well-rounded. Kaylee Crocker, Perry County. <laughs> Ashley Terry, Pike County. Ashley says 4-H means for kids to be able to achieve to the highest potential. Ashley Terry, Pike County. Ethan Jacobs, Pope County. Ethan says, 4-H has given him the opportunity to go places and experience things that he would not have been able to do otherwise. He has gained confidence and strengthened his leadership skills through these opportunities. Ethan Jacobs, Pope County. At this time, we would like to welcome Mary Alice Cole back to the stage. Also, will the final group of teen stars please follow State Officer Ethan Parker backstage. At this time, I would like to introduce Ms. Laurel Mayo, 2016 Arkansas 4-H Hall of Fame inductee. Laurel is a sophomore at the University of Arkansas where she is majoring in agriculture communications. Please help me welcome Laurel to the stage as she introduces tonight's Hall of Fame. <clears throat> Tonight's first Hall of Fame finalist is Stephanie Williams from White County. For the past 14 years, Stephanie has continually encouraged, taught, and mentored younger 4-H'ers, as well as other peers and adults throughout her community through a variety of projects. She considers her greatest 4-H accomplishment to be publishing the cookbook, A Treat for the Week, and more in 2014. The cookbook shares information about 4-H at all levels and is an incredible promo promotional tool for the organization. Thousands of copies of the cookbook have been sold to date and some of the proceeds have gone to help fund 4-H scholarships, 4-H camp fees, and mission trips. Stephanie's involvement in 4-H has enabled her to have the poise and confidence to compete and win the title of the 2014 Arkansas State Fair Rodeo Queen. She gives 4-H the credit for her success in this endeavor and uses the, this title to promote 4-H. Stephanie has been active in community service through projects such, such as making treats for nursing home residents, planting flowers at the local crisis pregnancy center, and volunteering at the, special, that's the state Special Olympics event. With all of these projects combined in the past five years alone, Stephanie has donated over 1,500 hours of her time and has reached over 1,000 individuals in need. Even as a college sophomore, Stephanie continues to give back to 4-H by becoming a 4-H leader. Stephanie Williams, White County. Tonight's second Hall of Fame finalist is Haley Burden from Benton County. Haley served as a state officer at large in 2015-2016. Her hard work and dedication to the 4-H organization allowed her to win state record book in 2015. Haley was the first Arkansas 4-H'er to give a family and consumer science speech at the National Western Roundup, where she placed third in the National Roundup, and, and fourth as well with the Food Bowl team. Haley has always enjoyed helping others and feels that helping others reach their goals is her biggest accomplishment. Haley uses her accomplishments to help other members grow and succeed. In Haley's mind, being a leader is more than just being the person in charge. To Haley, being a leader means to set a positive example and to help wherever she can. Haley constantly sets a positive example of how to be a leader in her club, county, district, and state. There is nothing Haley loves more than to be able to help others. She utilizes her role as a leader to do so, affecting members everywhere in a positive way. Haley Burden, Benton County. <clears throat> At
At this time, I would like to introduce Arkansas 4-H Ambassador Katie Head and State Officer Sarah Toll, who will introduce our final group of teen stars. Caitlin Dainsey, Pope County. Caitlin says 4-H to her means adventure, friends, and opportunity. 4-H helps her with leadership and brings everyone together to work as a team. Caitlin Dainsey, Pope County. Austin Seagraves, Randolph County. Austin says to him 4-H means getting to make new friendships and having memories that will last a lifetime. Austin Seagraves, Randolph County. Madison Atkins, Randolph County. Madison, lear Madison says, learning to become a stronger leader inside and outside of 4-H is a benefit that she is gaining for all of the hard work that she has put into her projects. She is in the ninth grade in a junior high and thinks she is in the ninth grade and at the junior high thanks to her leadership skills. Her teachers and her peers know that they can count on her to successfully complete a task. Madison Atkins, Randolph County. <laughs> Taylor Donner, Randolph County. Taylor says 4-H is going out and getting involved with your community, it is making friendships with people of all ages and learning skills that will help you in your life. Taylor Donner, Randolph County. William Sparks, Randolph County. William says that 4-H is an organization meant to be fun but educational at the same time. 4-H is what keeps him going and gets him involved. William Sparks, Randolph County. Julia McPeak, Saline County. Julia says 4-H has shaped, her, shaped who she is and has helped her discover herself, both what she likes and what she doesn't like. This has improved her self-awareness and has helped her make better decisions. Julia McPeak, Saline County. <laughs> Shakota Herder, Searcy County. Shakota says she believes that 4-H has presided her with skills to become a well-rounded individual with a bright future. She knows what she has learned in this amazing organization will help her for many, many years to come. Shakota Herder, Searcy County. A.J. Russell, Sebastian County. A.J. says 4-H means much more to him than just showing cattle and participating in shooting events. It means a chance to help his community through service projects and improving his leadership skills. A.J. Russell, Sebastian County. <laughs> Jenna Frederick, Sebastian County. Jenna says she has achieved goals through 4-H that she would only have been able to dream about otherwise. The life lessons she has learned through her 4-H experience will always be a part of her. Jenna Frederick, Sebastian County. Kimber Campbell, Sebastian County. Kimber says 4-H means friendships you never would have made unless you attended camps, workshops, aromas, and fairs. It means responsibility you learn because you fed, watered, walked, and trained animals. It means compassion for community service projects and feeling humble and proud of what you've done for others. 4-H can be used in all places in our lives as we grow up. I'm blessed to be a part of it. Kimber Campbell, Sebastian County. <laughs> Olivia Branham, Sebastian County. Olivia says 4-H has been a way to help her become more comfortable speaking in front of people. It has taught her how to work with others. Throughout her experience in 4-H, she has learned she can do things she did not think she was capable of before. It is because of 4-H she is who she is today. Olivia Branham, Sebastian County. <laughs> Brennan Seymour from Sevier County. Brennan says 4-H is a fun learning experience. It has allowed her to try new and different things while having a fun time. Brennan Seymour, Sevier County. Austin Frugier, Union County. Austin says 4-H means family to him, whether by blood or friendship, for a lifetime. 
Austin Frege, Union County. Junior Paya, Washington County. Junior says, 4-H is a great way to learn things that will be useful later in life. To him, it is education with fun and competition all put together. Junior Paya, Washington County. <laughs> Kale Scogan, Washington County. Kale says, to him, 4-H is a way to learn things about you are truly passionate about while learning critical life skills along the way. He has learned more about the career field of his interest. Kale Scogan, Washington County. <laughs> Legend Cavanaugh, Washington County. Legend says, to her, 4-H is a program to learn and experience new things and meet new people and learn to live a healthier, happier life. Le Legend Cavanaugh, Washington County. Reagan Rochier, Washington County. Reagan says, to her, 4-H means an enormous amount of opportunities. In 4-H, she can be herself and make an impact at all at the same time. Reagan Rochier, Washington County. Sierra Burnett, Washington County. Sierra says, to her, 4-H means helping others and learning more about yourself. She has gained so much from 4-H and has made a positive impact on her life. Sierra Burnett, Washington County. Zoe Armstrong, Washington County. Zoe says, 4-H to her means becoming who you are. 4-H has made her the outgoing person she is today. Zoe Armstrong, Washington County. <laughs> Callie McDaniel, White County. Callie says, 4-H to me is family, a family that will support you every single way they can to help you succeed. Without my 4-H family, I would not be able to speak publicly and confidently try new things. Callie McDaniel, White County. <laughs> Daniel Williams, White County. For Daniel, 4-H is an organization that can give you limitless opportunities to serve your community, county, and world. It gives you the confidence to start and finish projects and lead others in activities, which also gives you friendships that will last a lifetime. Daniel Williams, White County. <laughs> Emma Farron, White County. 4-H has let Emma do ballet performances and public speaking. She is a homeschooler, so she doesn't have the same opportunities to do the other things where other teenagers would at school. She gets to be a president of her club, which she really enjoys. She likes the cooking competition because she has learned new techniques and can see how much other people like her food. She has learned life skills in 4-H, and it's a great way to make new friends. Emma Farron, White County. Nora Lee Townsend, White County. For Nora Lee, 4-H means new opportunities. 4-H has helped her to be the person she is today by pushing her out of her comfort zone. Nora Lee Townsend, White County. <laughs> Riley Allen, White County. 4-H means, for Riley, teaching the youth of today that they can and will be our leaders of tomorrow by showing them that no matter where they stand now, they have what it takes to make a difference. Riley Allen, White County. Sarah Gaskin, White County. For Sarah, 4-H means to have fun and make friends, learn to overcome public speaking fear, helping the community by doing community service projects, and learning lots of beneficial agriculture skills that will help her in the future. Sarah Gaskin, White County. Savannah Watkins, White County. Savannah says the meaning of 4-H to me is learning by doing. My experiences in 4-H, such as making a fire at forestry and wildlife camp or competing in a bake-off, have taught me the best way to learn about life is to live it. Savannah Watkins, White County. Please help me welcome back to the stage, Ms. Mary Alice Cole. Will all of the 2017 teen stars please stand? 
Ladies and gentlemen, let's give these outstanding individuals another round of applause to acknowledge their accomplishments and encourage them to shine in Arkansas 4-H. I would like to welcome Laurel Mayo back to the stage to announce the rest of the Hall of Fame finalists. Mary Alice Cole from Izzard County is tonight's third finalist. Mary Alice is currently serving as the 2016-2017 State 4-H President and served as an officer at large in 2015-2016. Her hard work and leadership skills led her to win state record book in 2015 in her main project of photography. Mary Alice has served as a mentor to kids, not only in her county, but across the state as a county and state camp counselor. Looking back on her 4-H career, one of her greatest accomplishments is being able to lead and mentor young youth in 4-H and by having a positive impact on their lives. She has represented Arkansas at various events across the country, including National Congress, National Conference, Southern Regional Team Leader Conference, National Western Roundup, CWF, and Youth Voice Youth Choice Training. Being the first 4-H'er in Izzard County elected as state president and only the second state officer, she has paved the way for many younger 4-H'ers to follow in her footsteps. Mary Alice is currently attending Southern Arkansas University in Magnolia, where she is majoring in mass communications. Mary Alice plans to pursue a career with extension in the future so she can give back to the organization that has given so much to her. Mary Alice Cole, Izzard County. Tonight's fourth Hall of Fame finalist is Katie Gardner from Washington County. Katie's hard work and dedication to the 4-H organization allowed her to be named a 2016 state record book winner. She has served as a state 4-H ambassador since 2015. She has excelled in various contests as well as other areas of 4-H by winning first place in Fashion Review Purchase Dressing in 2016 and Performing Arts Dance in 2015. Katie represented Arkansas in the 2017 National Roundup, where she, she won Reserve Grand Champion in Purchase Dressy Fashion Review. One of Katie's most impressive characteristics is her ability to mobilize others to make a positive difference. She is impressive in her ability to recruit and train volunteers, both young and old. Katie mentors youth, especially young girls, through 4-H, elementary school visits, community service projects, as a dance teacher and through princess mentoring program related to her pageant involvement. She is kind, caring, and takes the time to actively listen to others. Katie is currently serving on the 2017 National 4-H Congress design team. In this role, her leadership skills and 4-H experience will help, shape a will help shape a national 4-H experience, impacting members from across the nation. Katie Gardner, Washington County. I'd like to welcome Mary Alice Cole back to the stage. Thank you, Laurel. Now I'm pleased to introduce our talented Arkansas 4-H members who are here to provide us this evening's entertainment. This evening's entertainment is Alexandria Hunter from Clark County.
somehow a time and place stand still. Love lives on inside our hearts and always will. Minutes turn to hours, days to years then gone. But when all else has been forgotten, still our song lives on. Just when we feel all hope is gone, we'll hear our song and know once more our love lives on. troubles. Love is beauty. Love is pure. Love pays no mind to desolation. It flows like a river through the song. Protects, persists, and perseveres. Thank you, Ag Alexandria. Before we introduce tonight's Hall of Fame inductee, we would like to continue our showcase of former Hall of Fame inductees to put a face on 4-H after 19. Whether you realize it or not, 4-H is a lifelong experience. There are many people in our communities who were 4-H members and attribute much of their success and life choices to their time in 4-H. This year, we are excited to showcase Miss Heather Jackson. Heather was inducted into the Hall of Fame in 2015. She served as the Washita District Vice President from 2014 to 2015. She is currently a senior at Henderson State University, where she is majoring in Family and Consumer Sciences. Heather was named Governor's Award Finalist in 2016. She interned in the Family and Consumer Science Department last summer, and she works as a SNAP Ed Assistant in the Clark County during the school year. She also helps out with local 4-H clubs as a volunteer, where she continues to give disaster preparedness speeches, which was her main 4-H project. This year, she is currently interning at the State 4-H office as a summer in a technician. Please help me welcome Ms. Heather Jackson. Heather will be assisted by Dr. Rick Cartwright, Interim Associate for Vice President for Agriculture Extension.
This year's 2017 Hall of Fame inductee is Stephanie Williams from White County. At this time, I would like to welcome to the stage State 4-H Officer Sarah Beth Toll. Thank you, Ms. Jackson, and congratulations to all the new teen stars and tonight's Hall of Fame inductee. On behalf of the 4-H State Officers and Ambassadors, we are so glad you're all here to share this exciting evening with us. After the conclusion of tonight's program, I would like to ask all former Hall of Fame inductees who are in attendance to please come to the stage for a picture with tonight's inductee. Thank you again for coming, and we wish, wish a safe trip to everyone home. <laughs> 